I have a question, and I need you to be honest, okay? Do you trust me? So the choir said no. Maybe not. Okay. So sometimes I've had that question from my friends, and sometimes they say, yes, of course I trust you. And other times it takes me a bit longer to make up my mind. How many of you got to church by car today? Yeah? Quite a few of you. And presumably, either your mum or your dad or someone else drove you to church, and you put your trust in them because you thought you'd get to church safely, right? But there were lots of other people on the roads as well. There were other people in the car, there were pedestrians, there might have been cyclists, but you had to trust that they would use the roads safely too, right? And there are lots of other things that we put our trust in that we don't necessarily have good reason to put our trust in. How many of you are sitting upstairs on the balcony? Yeah? Now, did you see when that bit of the balcony was made, did you watch the builders build the church? <laughs> yes. No. But you believe that it's safe and it's not going to crack and it's not going to crumble and we're in a sturdy building. You can jump up and down. So today I wanted to talk to you about trust and faith. Now, who said that they, they trusted me? Okay. Now I need a volunteer. Oh, you still trust me. Excellent. Would you like to be my volunteer? So we're going to do a little exercise. And I need you to close your eyes and turn this way and cross your hands over your chest and then you're going to do a fall backwards. Do you still trust me? Yes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. She has so much trust in me. Right. <laughs> We're going to try that one again. <laughs> And we're going to count backwards from five so we know when to start this time, okay? The adults are paying lots of attention. Okay, ready? I had to put my faith in God then. Uh, so, did you know that I, what was your name? Naomi. Did you know that I was going to catch you? Yeah. Could you see what I was doing with my hands? Couldn't see. And that's what faith is. So faith is when you can't see what's going to happen. And Naomi had a lot of trust in me, uh, a lot of trust. But you believe that that person will rescue you or be there for you and you're safe with them. And I have two verses from the Bible that I'd like for us to read. Who's got a big, clear voice? Yeah. Would you like to read one? Now, the first one is from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7. We live by faith, not by sight. Okay. And the second verse, do I have another volunteer? Let's have you. And the second verse is from Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. And verse 6. In all ways acknowledge. acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Thank you. Beautiful reading. So, there is someone safer than me, for sure, 
and that's Jesus. And when we put our trust in Jesus, he is the safest person that we can ever put our trust and our faith in. And just before we pray, I need a few volunteers to help with the pound in the pot. So can I choose one, any, two, three, one more, four. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for giving us the promise that we can put our faith in you. Lord, sometimes we trust in things that we can't see, but you are the ultimate, um, you are the ultimate God. God, you protect us, uh, you keep us safe, and we pray that you'd give us the courage and the faith to trust in you, even though we can't see you. In your name I pray, amen. Amen.